Pete here at property 18680 Rosetta. Here at East Point, we've got a three bedroom brick uh, bungalow, with a two car detached garage. Here at East Point, very nice all brick area. East Point's a very uh, in demand area for rentals and for investors, but this uh, pocket that we're in here is actually one of the uh, more premier little subdivisions in East Point. Anyhow, we have a newer roof on the house. I mentioned shingles, we have vinyl windows. Um, just missing a porch step there. Uh, I had to extend the downspouts away from the house just to preserve the asset. Uh, exterior, there wasn't a whole lot more. We are going to need a roof in the garage. I mean, you may be able to get away with that for a couple more years. We can see the shingles are deteriorating. Um, I mean, I would suggest to go ahead and ride it out for a couple more years. And then address it, uh, you know, when needed down the road, just to keep some of the rehab costs down. But you see, we got a newer garage door on there, brick garage. Got a nice yard. I'm um, just gonna need some cleanup, you know, trim some of this overgrowth and whatnot. We do have glass block windows in the basement. I'll take you around the side here. There wasn't a whole lot exterior-wise needed to be done. Again, got a nice, nicely landscape lot. Just need some cleanup. Get rid of some of this garbage and debris. A little bit of tuck point you needed on the garage. Not a big deal, but a nice solid brick garage. Just the back of the house there. And we'll take you inside. This is a bank owned property and on the listing they did say turnkey, but uh, I know the banks like to use that term loosely. It is in need of some, uh, some updates inside. So we'll come around to the front. Go through the front door. The one thing it appears they did do was uh, paint the house. So the painting is one thing that won't need to be done. Um, we're right in the front entry here. Ceramic floor on the uh, landing. There's your dining and kitchen area. I'll come around to that in a second. But I'll take you into the living room. Hardwood floors throughout. These have to be refinished. And to maximize rent, uh, they're going to have to be stripped and, and restained. There's just a lot of gouges, stains. Um, you got fr freshly painted walls. It'd just be a shame not to have uh, some new wood floors to go with it. Would really make it stand out. But here's your living room here. Again, we're going to refinish the hardwood floors throughout. I'll take you through here to the kitchen area. The kitchen, um, ceramic. About three quarters of the way up, around. It's all in very good shape. The cabinets, they went ahead and refinished to, uh, to match the ceramic. I'm not a huge fan of the color, but uh, it, it'll work. And it does match. So your kitchen uh, is actually looking like it's in pretty good shape. Got a newer countertop and sink there. The problem is the floors. Um, these vinyl floors are going to have to be replaced. We're actually a lot of damaged tiles starting to chip up and peel. So we can put a new, um, new vinyl tile floor in here. We are going to have to replace some of the um, electrical outlets. A lot of the electrical fixtures throughout the house. I think the ones upstairs are painted over. This one here is not up to code. So let's we'll update the electrical. Put a new vinyl tile floor here. This is your dining area. Again, ceramic halfway up. It's in beautiful shape. I'll take you down to the basement now while we're here. This is your side entry here. Vinyl floors. Side entry door. And down the stairs here. We're going to have to replace these vinyl uh, tiles on the steps. I'm going to whip around and show you why. So we need some uh, some tile there. Got the wood finish walls. Um, it's a finished basement. Um, the problem is we've got some tiles here that have come up. So we'll have to see what the most cost effective thing is to do. Either to go ahead and scrape the tiles, maybe even just in this portion of the basement here, and then paint that. We do have a bar here. And over here, it's like a uh, kitchen area here. Got a base cabinet and a sink. I think this door uh, just off the hinges. Gonna need a little bit of touching up here. 
This will be your laundry area. It's your laundry tub. Hot water tank is 1989. Uh, it appears intact. We could have it tested, but because of the um, potential damage can be done by a hot water tank rusting out and uh, you know flooding the basement, I say go ahead and change it out. That thing's 24 years old. It's missing an overflow tube. You might as well just go ahead and put a new hot water tank in. Furnace appears intact. You can have that tested. Um, appears like all the ductwork's all in really good shape. So it should be pretty solid here. Again, just with the floors. These tiles are starting to come up. So it might be better off just in this half of the basement to go ahead and pull those up and paint them. Because as you can see, this portion of the basement are actually in really good shape. Over here, a little closet here where the drain pipe's at. And there is a half bath here in the basement. Vanity, toilet, medicine cabinet, some shelves. Over here, this area is unfinished, so this will definitely have to be painted. I have to replace the sump pump and seal this off. Um, I don't know if you can really see from the video here, but there's a lot of garbage down there. It's all going to have to be cleaned out and uh, replace that sump pump. We have outdated electrical, so we're going to have to switch it over to uh, breakers. But uh, again, with some finishing touches down here, you have a nice finished basement. Take you back up the stairs. To the kitchen. And again to the left is the living room which I showed you. We're coming through this entrance here. Hall closet. And this is your hallway here. To the left is the bathroom. You have to replace this uh, medicine cabinet. You can see it's all damaged and broken there, so that's going to have to be replaced. Um, other than that, I think in the bathroom we were looking pretty good. Just going to have to recog and clean up a little bit here. Shower heads intact. Again, we'll test all the plumbing. Vanity's in good shape. Just need some cleanup and caulk. But uh, definitely have to replace this cabinet here. As you can see, it's all damaged. These are your steps going up uh, the second floor. Take you up there in a second. Let's continue to show you the main floor. This bedroom here. Again, this is more what I was talking about here. Uh, most of the uh, outlets and switches we'll have to replace and put some new covers on. Uh, it is freshly painted, but again, like the light fixtures here, outdated. So we'll get you all new electrical fixtures. bedroom here closet and the other bedroom again more of the same you need some window treatments update the electrical get a vent cover there closet space replace that light fixture but again as you can see with, with refinished hardwood floors this will really really stand out you can have a beautiful house here take you upstairs Unfinished steps here and hardwood floors again. So we're going to, have to install a uh, bifold door there. It's missing. Refinish these floors as well. And this is your upstairs. large bedroom up here. It's another closet space. So again, we've got a lot to work with here. Um, and it has potential. I mean, it, it does It does show nice now with the fresh paint, but it's just a little bit misleading on the uh, listing because there is a decent amount of work still needs to be done. Let's see it here on Rosetta. We'll get you the numbers over. Beautiful brick house here in East Point. Uh, this should be an easy 900 a month rent in this area here.